This is a preliminary video about breathing. There will be more videos on breathing exercises in yoga or pranayama later, but I just wanted to do a few basic things here. Now, there are basically three groups of muscles that are involved in breathing. There are the accessory muscles up here, which pull up the clavicles, uh, move the neck and so forth. These muscles are used when people need to take a really deep breath. There are the intercostal muscles between the ribs. These muscles are probably the muscles that people mainly use if they're breathing in a particular way. However, the most important muscle is the diaphragm, which starts here and moves around here when the breath is exhaled completely. This is the muscle that's most important and does most of the work. It's also the most efficient. Because breathing is an exercise that you do all the time, it's important that you do it efficiently. Therefore, it's important to concentrate on the diaphragm rather than the intercostals. Now, diaphragmatic breathing, you can train yourself by putting your hands on your chest and your belly. You need to be sure that when you breathe, this hand moves more than this hand. If you're able to do that, it's a lot more efficient than doing this. <gasps> Obviously I'm exaggerating that because you're moving these and sometimes you're even moving these. However, some people do need to move those because of lung conditions that they have. Also, <clears throat> in pranayama, which is the yoga breathing exercise, there needs to be a ratio of one to four to two, or there can be a ratio of one to four to two. So the ratio of breathing goes one to four to two, and continuing in that ratio. If you breathe diaphragmatically, and you can train yourself to do that, and eventually you will do it without thinking, you will find that you breathe much more efficiently and you have a lot more energy. Also, there is the phenomenon of air hunger and addiction to breathing with these muscles. At first, you may feel that you get out of breath and you feel a great need to expand your chest using your intercostals and accessory muscles. So you you feel the need to do that and you sometimes feel the need to gasp and sigh but you don't need to worry about that that is just your body getting used to the new habits like it might be difficult for you to do a new exercise or something you might feel an aversion to that originally but if you want to breathe efficiently that's how you do it you breathe with your diaphragm pulling your diaphragm down your chest would hardly move and if you do that you will find that you breathe much more easily on the whole and that you breathe much more efficiently and you'll have more energy generally. The point about breathing is that it's something that you do all the time and you do it using skeletal muscles, i.e. the muscles which can get tired easily, unlike the heart or the smooth muscle that makes up your organs. Therefore, they tire more easily, they use up more energy and over a long period of time that adds up to a lot. So that's what you need to do.